Today on Brandon's Fabulous World of Fishing, we take a look inside my tackle box. Hello folks, welcome back to vlog number two, and today we are going to take a look inside my tackle box. I've had a lot of people requesting this video, and I didn't do it for a while because my tackle box uh, was not that organized. The bag I had was really big and clunky and was falling apart, but I just got a new bag and kind of redid my tackle, kind of reorganized it. So, let me show you that. Before we, before we get to that, I, w I want to say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. It's pretty insane. Uh, I'm, 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 still, I'm still kind of in shock. It, it, it's crazy. Thank you all that subscribed. Uh, it really means a lot. Hey boy. All right, guys, this is Luigi. Say hi, Luigi. Say hi, Luigi. Say hi to the camera. He is our resident beagle. He's such a good boy, aren't you? All right guys, this is the tackle box that I currently own. It is an Okeechobee Flats tackle box. Uh, it's a relatively cheap one. I got it for like 10 bucks at Walmart. So let's take a look inside here. Let's flip the lid. All right, there's all my boxes. It's a bit my basic layout right there. So let's start off with lures and let's start off with crankbaits. So let's take a look at the crankbaits here. Pop this open. Crankbaits. Whoa, okay, 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 there we go. Having camera stress back here. Okay, so crankbaits, what do I got? Well, number one I got in the deep diving section, I have some deep diving crankbaits right here. This is a bomber, fat-free fingerling right here. It's pretty old. It's got like, I don't know, it's got like junk on it, but I've had this one a long time, and it does really good, dives really deep. Caught some fish on it, like that one. Got a, a Rapala flat wrap right here. This is an old bait that we got somewhere, I'm not sure where. But yeah, that one works pretty good too. Ugh. Got a cotton cordell right here. This is a pretty um, cheap bait. You can get it for like a dollar at Walmart, but I have one in here just because I've had that bait forever. We bought a bunch of them a couple years ago. I think I bought this bait in like 2012. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I got a Rapala um, DT dives too. This dives to about six foot. Uh, pretty nice bait right there. So those are all for the deep diving lures. Um, Swim baits, I have a Cabela's HDS Real Image Bait Fish in perch color, I think. So there's that. I actually did a review of this bait. If you want to check out that review, I'll link it up in the cards for you. All right. So we got jerk baits. I don't have a whole lot of jerk baits. I have a um, Rapala X Wrap right here. A pretty nice crankbait. It's got a nice tight action and it dies really deep. Got that one. I've also got. Oops a rebel right here just uh it's gonna be called a swimming minnow and just like a, a silver this is actually a really decent little um little jerk bait it's actually really inexpensive it costs like a couple bucks not even like it's like a dollar or something at walmart so it's actually really decent it swims pretty good uh then i have this bait which is kind of an interesting bait i found i found this at a lake actually it was sitting in the water here it was snagged and i got it it's got a lot of character it's kind of worn down it's kind of beat up but this thing's ca this thing catches fish it's a it's a really cool bait. It's a jointed minnow design. I'm not sure what company exactly made it. I can't really tell, but really awesome, and I love that thing. So those are all my... Oh, wait, I got another one. Hold it. I got something else. Here we go. Whoa, let me get it. Let me get it. Okay. I also have another one of these Rebel uh, minnows right here. This isn't like a gold perch. So those are all for that. Now on to lipless crankbaits. I have a... Let me get this out of here if I can get it out. Here we go. I've got a Rapala clack and wrap right here. This is in gold shiner. I've had this bait a long time. I actually did a review of this bait too, or a video about this bait. I'll link it in the corner again. Um, this thing's really awesome. I really love it. I just put new hooks on it, so I'm excited to take it out this year. This is kind of a weird bait that I found in an old tackle box. I usually buy, I have a weakness for, I'll buy these old tackle boxes with all these old lures, unique lures, and uh, so yeah, this is like a lipless crankbait design. I haven't really actually fished with this yet, but uh, looks pretty cool. And I have a Rebel, uh, not a Rebel, sorry, a Sonar right here. These are really, really great for cold water, deep water fishing. They catch pretty much any species. I've had catfish hit these things, so these are really great, and they're a must-have to have in your tackle box. So that's pretty much all my lipless crankbaits right now. I need to upgrade some, I need to get some more because fall's coming, and I want to get some more of them, I guess. All right. 
Uh, square bales. Let's take a look at what we got as far as square bales. If I can get this stupid hook undone here, because it's... Okay, there we go. I'm getting stuck. Here we go. This is a bomber. Oh, wait, hold up. Here, I can see the... I can read the name here. Okay, Cotton Cordell. This is a big G, I think, or a big D. Well, either D or G. Uh, it's in a chartreuse color. So I got that. I also have a ancient... Well, no. I also have a really beat up KVD 1.5. We found this down at the lake. Uh, they drain the water every year at the lake we used to live at. So we go down and hunt for lures. We actually found this one. This one actually has like teeth marks on it. So it looks like it might have been hit by like, you know, like a pike or something. So it's actually pretty cool. I just put new hooks on it. I'm going to clean up a little bit and actually take it fishing this fall. So really, really cool bait right there. I also have another square bill if I can get it out of here. Which I can't, but I'm just going to kind of go through it. This other square bill, this is a rebel square bill. Right here. Uh, just in like a bluegill color. These actually work pretty good if you buy them. They're actually relatively cheap. Sometimes they don't run exactly straight out of the package, but if you tune them, they're actually pretty good baits. My brother's caught some nice fish with that. I also have a rebel bluegill right here. This is actually a really great bait. I've talked about it in some other videos. Really awesome. So that is pretty much all the crankbaits right there. Okay, what's next? What is next in this box? Let's go top waters. All right, here we go. Top waters. What do we got as far as top waters? So here's the top waters. I don't have a whole lot, but let's get started. I've got this Booyah Pad Crusher frog. Um, this thing has served me so well this summer. I've caught so many fish with it. It is so beat up and torn up, and shredded. Caught me a ton of fish, and it's still very durable. It's still, still great. So really love this frog. Um, I'm gonna have to get some more. Really inexpensive, and uh, does really good. I have the, this is a Ribble Frog R. It's actually a really great little bait. It's got a really cool walking action. I love the paint job and the design of it. It's really realistic. My siblings are making noise. Excuse that. Uh, I actually reviewed this bait, and I will post a link to the review. So there we go. I also have a Jitterbug. Um, gotta have a classic Jitterbug. These things are really awesome. Uh, very cool bait right there. Um, I got a Zera Spook. An Ancient Zera Spook. It's a oh, it's sorry. It's a it's a Zera puppy. It's not the actual Spook. It's a little smaller size. This thing catches me fish. I've got the train's coming. I can hear the train. I've got a popper right here. This is a storm chugging bug right here. Really good popper. Really flat profile as you can see there, and it pops really good. It's got the little um, teaser tail on there, so it's really awesome. Then I got a couple of spinner bait bodies right here. And what I do with these is I'll just put like a soft plastic swim bait or a soft plastic fluke or something on the back of it. And this actually works really well. You catch me a lot of fish like that. So, goodness. Stupid train. Interrupt my video. So rude. We have to deal with that all the time. We live here. So the train's always going by, it's always making a lot of noise. Anyway, on to terminal tackle and miscellaneous stuff. Here we go. We got some walleye spinners. Two walleye spinners right here for when we go walleye fishing, which we haven't done a whole lot of this year. Uh, we got some treble hooks right here to put new hooks on my crankbaits because as you probably saw, a lot of my crankbaits need new hooks. Uh, just got some weights and some hooks right in here. So, a bunch of that stuff right there. Uh, got some miscellaneous jig heads, some miscellaneous spinners that are all in kind of a bird's nest. Some weird, some miscellaneous weights right there. Kind of a random uh, swim bait here. This is a, uh, uh, what is it called? Come on, come on, come on. Berkeley Havoc Sick Fish. This is in Tennessee Shad. It actually works really good. It's some, uh, kind of my big fish bait. Catches me a lot of nice fish. They got some random crappie grubs in there. So that's that. Now you come to the jig box, the smallest box of all. I really wish I had more jigs. I'm going to have to start upgrading some more jigs, but for now, I'll show you what I got. I have a Terminator Swim Jig. This is in bluegill. It's kind of lost some of its skirt, but it's still a really great jig. Uh, I love fishing swim jigs, you guys probably know, and this thing is really awesome. Got that. Also have like a bruiser baits swim jig here. This one's got a blade on the back of it. Um, I actually got this from my Tackle Warehouse unboxing. This thing looks like really cool bait. Can't wait to throw it this fall. 
And of course I have the all-terrain skipping jig and watermelon red. I use this jig all the time. I actually did a really cool video where I took this thing out and caught a bunch of nice fish with it. I will link that in the corner if you want to check that out. So definitely probably one of my favorite swim jigs. I have this this um, Terminator football head finesse jig that looks like it has mains because it barely has any skirt, but had that thing. Don't fish that a whole lot, but another swim jig right here, a white one, uh, just kind of random. I'm not even sure where I got that. I uh, got a spinnerbait, Terminator spinnerbait, Terminator spinnerbait right here, uh, and I got a spinnerbait body right here. So those are the jigs. I definitely need to get some more after looking at that now. <laughs> All right, plastic time. Here we go. I'm gonna open up the plastic pouch. All right, I'm gonna kind of go fast here. We got some yum warning shots right here, KVD perfect plastic stream shot. We got some Lake Fork hyperworms right here. Those are really good, actually. My brother caught a five pounder um, last weekend with those, and I got it on video. So you might see that pop up in the near future. <laughs> also got some biffle bugs right here. These are in jalapeno, jalapeno pepper. Um, some Z-Man hula sticks right here. Uh, yum, Fiber King tubes. Trigger X slaw popper, one in a package, I'm not sure why. I got some yum dingers right here. These are the smaller size, pretty cool. Got some more Yum Warning Shots because I love that bait so much. Got some Impulse Paddle Minnows right here. Got some Trigger X Swimming Worms in black. These actually do pretty good. Bruiser Baits Intruder and Green Pumpkin right there. Some more Trigger X Slop Hoppers, kind of a random pack. A couple different colors in there. Big Bite Baits Real Deal Craw. Real Deal Craw. I'm not sure what color this is, but there's that. Let me let it focus. There we go. Missile baits, baby D bomb in Superbug. These are actually a really cool little bait. Um, Strike King Rage Tail Baby Craw. Yep, those are really good too. Put them on the back of a jig or a swim jig. Work good. And I got these yum tad fry right here in Crystal something. Crystal Shad. Yep, these are really good for crappie and bluegill. And I made a video where I caught some bluegill with them. Again, I'll link that in the corner. So those are all my plastics right there. And those are all the baits. Now, let's just kind of take a look at what else is in the box. We got stringer because I'm a multi-species angler and sometimes we're catching fish that we want to keep and eat. So I got that there. I've got kind of a random pocket on the side here with some random stuff. Got a random buzz bait. I'm not sure why that's in there, but it's in there. I got this massive spoon. Let me get it out of here. Whoa, got a bunch of... Here you go. Oh, dropped it. I've got this massive spoon in case I ever want to, like, fish for pike or something. So I got that. <laughs> Also got a tequila, uh, River to Sea tequila buzz right here. This is a pretty big bait and it wouldn't fit in my top water box. I just put it in the side there. So, and we got some black tape. I always keep black tape in my tackle box because you never know when something's going to break, something's going to happen. This stuff's always good to have on hand. That and super glue. Uh, that's it. I think I got like a random, couple random hooks in there, which is not that exciting. So I should probably go in the hook box, but anyway. And this other side I got a pliers because every good fisherman needs a pliers. So that is pretty much everything that's in my tackle box. So there you go guys, that is what is in my tackle box. Again, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I'm currently kind of in a slump where I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but I'm gonna try and expand in the near future. So thanks for watching this video. Um, what else I was gonna say? As always, this is Brendan Miller, signing out.